all from their home or something like that, they're elderly or something like that, but giving someone a cell phone. And the other one that I voted against uh, was the gold card. I think you go back to paper food stamps that say, they don't say sooner care, they say uh, food stamps, you know, or they don't say, uh, uh, what's the, I can't remember what the, the, the one program it's called, uh, but it ought to say Oklahoma Welfare Assistance. That's what yeah. it ought to say on every one of them so that, that that mentality is there is that I am taking from the public trough to do that. And that's the way it ought to be. You know, I have no problem with helping you, but I want you to understand <laughs> that when you walk in here and say, oh, just put it on my gold card. Yeah. Huh. You know, <laughs> and that's what they did. Yeah, and there's no, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's no uh, stigma. Stigma, that's the word I was looking for. There's no stigma now to being on welfare because we don't want anybody to have stigma because, you know, Whenever you feel good about yourself. That's right. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah. talking about tax policy. I'll give you a perfect example, and most of you probably know this. I have not deducted my children on my tax return in 10 years. Why? It's not allowed. Do you deduct your kids on your tax? Anybody have kids in here? Mm -hmm. I don't get to deduct my kids on my tax return. You make over a certain amount of money, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I'm not a super wealthy person, but I've worked hard my whole life. First kid to go to college, uh, you know, worked my way through school three years, two degrees, uh, with scholarships, and working three jobs. But because I did that, I don't get to deduct my kids. My kids are less citizens than a person on welfare. Yeah. Don't get to deduct them on my tax What's wrong with this picture? What is wrong with this picture? And that's where I go with that. We went from 7% to 91%. And I'm sorry, Warren Buffett, if you earn that money, you paid taxes on it one time, you're paying taxes on it again when you invest it. So don't say you only pay 15%. You paid 38, and now you're paying 15. And of course, for Warren Buffett not to figure that out. Yeah. He's, well, he's paying that debt off his Obama kill Keystone pipeline so his train can carry all the oil down. that could be, I mean, it's really operating unmandated as far as. You know, when Newton those guys came in, they did that deal where they redistributed the Remember, we were a donor state for all those years, and in 95, they passed the deal because I was in state legislature, and it went back and reapportioned that money so that the Basically, they had enough money so that there were no donor states anymore. So, I don't so know why even pay it in, though? Because I agree. lose a lot of the administrative costs. Handling charge. That's what yeah, I Yeah, like. handling charge. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why pay? And that's why yeah. I said we've got to get rid of these programs where there's a duplication of a state program above at the federal level because we don't need the Department of Education, this Office of Surface Mining, and those sorts of things. Total waste of money. And part yeah. of the education that it is. It's just killing us. I, I, I just joined the school board and uh, joined it. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't have an election. I was the only one who ran for that office. So I joined it. Anyway, uh, I have, I'll send you the white tag. Okay. So I'm there for one meeting, and all it is is policy, policy, policy. We're passing all these policies that dictate every breath you make, ever, ever for students, for the administration for the teachers, for everybody involved in that. And any time there was a question come up as to how we follow these policies or what is the best policy to follow the policy, then the school board president said, the government has a great school for this. They have a great school for this. You should attend this workshop. You should attend this workshop. And I'm thinking, it's not what I there's so much policy here. You don't have time to get involved with it. There's no uh, teacher-student interaction. And I even asked teachers, and I said, how do you interact text. with your student when it comes to missing uh, school and things like that? Well, it's automated with the phone system. And they said, I said, you need to go talk to them. And that's what I learned in the whole thing is they're so busy trying to abide by policy and there's no ability for the teacher to the modify teacher. that policy to fit the student. And I had the same problem with some of the robots companies that I want started. Us all to be robots. Yeah. yeah. In, in companies uh, that I started, we had the same problem. Uh, we do an insurance policy, we do a safety policy, we do all these policies. And all of my policies, I had where the uh, middle management could modify that to fit their employees, give a little bit of flexibility because you can't operate. Uh, I totally agree. Uh, well, what can you do to? to 
I mean, you're sitting there saying we need to get rid of the Department of Education. How can you go about doing that? You do that it. And that's what's not going on right now. And that's why I'm upset with our Republicans in Congress. Mm -hmm. is they, right now, could be defunding some of this stuff. We have a, the Senate hasn't even proposed a budget in three and a half years. Yeah. The House has proposed one, but it hasn't passed. And we keep doing these continuing spending bills. Newt was right, guys. Mm -hmm. Shut the government down. Right. Exactly. They're so afraid of their own shadow up there. Mm -hmm. I mean, part of my is somebody needs to get some weight <laughs> you know? Yeah, sure. And that is, that is what needs to happen is, guys, that was the best thing they ever did was shut the government down. We got welfare reform out of it. We got several other things out of that. Uh, people understand. In history, it uh, used to shut down every hour money. Right. We shut out to the next year. But they need to defund some of those things, and what they need to do is say, okay, we'll vote for this temporary spending bill, but these items are off the table. These items have to be shut down until we come to agreement and take all that excess stuff out of there. Like Obama, why is it that Obama can come out and say, I'm proposing $100 billion for this to get reelected? I'm proposing $300 million for this to get reelected. Mm -hmm. and, and he's proposing all this stuff and even executing. Uh, directing some of it by executive orders. Mm -hmm. You can't do that if that agency doesn't have the money. Defund that agency. Say, okay, Mr. Obama, next time you open your mouth, we're defunding that agency. And you do that. And you really do that. Uh, or, you know, we always funded the uh, state government on 95%. If they won the other 5%, we'd give it to them next year. So we held the carrot out there. You got to do what we want you to do. And it worked. Because 5% is a lot of money. It's the difference between meeting all your mandates and that was your money to actually do stuff and so you've got to defund programs mm -hmm. uh, and again that's the difference i think obviously you've got to know those things and you don't learn those overnight i mean you've got to figure those out uh, from being there and uh, i think you know george and i've talked about this as well and, and george, i said you know george one of us hopefully better figure this out because otherwise that learning curve it's like this and until you get here, you can't do much. So uh, it's yeah. it's going to be difficult. So we'll see. That. Yes, what, ma'am. What percentage of the American public would you say is in the government uh, paying? Oh, I saw that number the other day. Or yeah, like schools, postal. Yeah, it's like twenty-three percent. Yeah, it's very close to one Twenty-three. It's close. It's close to a quarter. Yeah. Yeah. If you're talking about state, local, county, fed. I mean, I may be telling them, for some reason, that number sticks in my mind, around 20%. So, so yeah. that, that's, that, that's the percentage of votes that you would not be saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but just, just but no, I mean, seriously, that. I mean, here's one of the things. We talked about the banking. Anybody here work for Farm Credit Services? Farm Credit Services now, and FHA and, and Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. I mean, I'm sorry I'm going into all this detail, but here's a perfect example. Uh, I'll use the FHA since it's less, it's rural here. Maybe I'll lose a vote. <laughs> but you had FHA that was the lender to people that couldn't afford a home, and the FHA had all these rules and regs. Then you had Fannie Mae that was a step up that was basically private sector. Freddie Mac was a step up. So they were basically boom, boom, boom. With all the new regulations, they are now boom, boom, boom. They're exactly the same thing. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and FHA operate on the same things. They're all trying to lend to the same people. And one of the questions, we got to ask each other a question up at Claremore. And the question I had was, and I was hoping I'd get somebody that could really zing with this. <laughs> it didn't work that way. Because I got Dwayne, and I, I love Dwayne. I couldn't, couldn't hit him. Mm -hmm. But the point was, was, would you vote to reauthorize the Community Reinvestment Act? And if so, why or why not? Well, nobody knew what that was. And I knew what it was. But it was the Affordable Housing Act fell into the Community Reinvestment Act, which is part what required all the mortgage companies to loan 50% or more of their loans to people at or below 80% of the median income. It's what led to stated income, liar loans, the housing bubble, and the crisis. Federal Reserve had a piece of it, too. But, guys, if you don't know what caused this financial crisis, mm -hmm. how are you going to fix it? And that's the one thing that kind of scares me. Uh, it's like, guys, you better know this stuff. Mm -hmm. You can't go up there and learn it. You gotta, I mean, I've been doing this for 30 years, but, but that is going to be a huge, huge piece of this thing is going in there and dealing with the financial pieces that are going to come up. So um, certainly, 
Certainly those are issues, but uh, I know I'll talk way too long. I'll keep talking if you let me. <laughs>